What's up everyone? It's your boy Chef Jeff here in the Ethan Sharp Prep School. Today we're going to do one of my favorite dishes, this incredible chili espresso rub ribeye with a charred tomatillo and poblano salsa verde, and of course, a chorizo sweet potato hash. This is going to knock your socks off with an incredible dish. We're gonna start with that charred tomatillo and poblano salsa verde. The reason why we're gonna start with that first is we wanna make sure that those flavors really come together. We've got a nice hot grill pan. Cast iron is what I like to cook with. Poblano pepper, straight on. Jalapenos, straight on. Tomatillos, straight on to our hot grill pan. This is going to bring out incredible flavors. Chorizo. Now there's two different styles of chorizo. There's a Mexican style and then there's the Spanish style. The Spanish is going to be a link style chorizo. And you need a beautiful knife to be able to get through these incredible chorizo links. And what we want to do is cut them in half. We want to then quarter them right down the middle so we can get uniform diced chorizo. Let the knife do the work. You also want to make sure that you're monitoring these vegetables. It wouldn't be a chorizo sweet potato hash without sweet potatoes. What I like to do is cut one side off so I have a uniform area so that it doesn't roll around. We're gonna cut all four sides off of this washed sweet potato because I am actually gonna keep that skin on. And we're gonna do nice little slits here so that way then we can turn it. Little bits of sweet potato deliciousness right here. What I like to do with garlic is go nice, thin slices. I'm gonna let the knife just rock on that cutting board. These tomatillos have come alive. They're bursting with flavors. They're just ready to pop. We're gonna put them into our blender. We're gonna let the poblanos stay for a little bit longer. And you can see that it's starting to really char. Right here I have a beautiful red bell pepper. And we're just gonna do nice julienne strips and do beautiful dicing. A trick when you're charring vegetables is actually using a Ziploc bag. The heat and the moisture is gonna help pull off all of that skin that's been nicely charred. And all of that is gonna make it very easy. We'll set that to the side. A Little bit of olive oil and only a little bit. We're putting the sweet potatoes in first with that little bit of olive oil because it's going to absorb the flavor of the oil and it's gonna get a nice little bit of a sear, which is what we want. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper into that pan. We wanna to toss it. We wanna to get that salt, that pepper, and that oil all the way around. And we're at that point now where the potatoes are starting to cook, but we also wanna add a little bit of fattiness, a little smokiness, a little bit of depth with that chorizo sausage. And you can see it starting to really take on that color while we've got this pan, diced peppers, some onions. And we're also gonna add the garlic at this stage as well. The garlic and the onions right now are going to bring out a nice little flavor. Uniformity. We're gonna let that nicely sit. We're gonna drop the temperature down to low. We had our poblano peppers, our jalapenos inside that Ziploc bag. Why? To lock in that moisture. It makes it so much easier to pull the skin off. And you can see that we're gonna get those beautiful char flavor, but none of that burnt skin. The moisture inside that bag allowed us to do that. It makes it for an easier process to just pull it straight off and into. and the mix it goes. We're also going to add the juice. Squeeze the juice. I love cooking with cilantro. Cilantro's fresh, it's vibrant, and there's so much that you can do with it. It lightens up something and brings out just an earthiness that is like no other. The cilantro is key to this incredible dish. Put it right in, the blender is going to do some of the work for us. Well, just a little bit of olive oil. 
and a little bit of that minced garlic that we did before. Everything's into our blender and we just want to do a quick pulsing to get those flavors. The key to cooking a great steak is letting it come to room temperature at least 30 minutes before you hit it on a hot surface. We're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil and massage it into our steak on all areas of it. This will help allow for it to form a nice crust against the hot cast iron, but it will also bring out the flavors of this incredible dry rub that I make myself with espresso, chili, cayenne, cumin, a little bit of oregano, some depth, some woodsiness to it. There's salt, pepper, paprika on all sides. Onto a hot skillet. We're gonna go two minutes for each of those sides. I love grilling with a ribeye steak because there's so much fat and flavor behind it. But what you also wanna make sure is that you cook it off. Turn your steak up across the sides of it. This will let all the flavors get through and you're not eating just fat. After you've cooked it on all sides, beautiful cross marks, let it rest. While we let that steak rest, we can start with our plating. Center of the plate, we're gonna take that chorizo, sweet potato hash. We're looking for a nice medium rear when it comes to this steak and that's what we're gonna get. The trick to it is making sure that we cut on a bias so we can get into the flavor and actually get nice tender slices. We're going to just dress it over this incredible bed of the chorizo sweet potato ash. And we have our charred tomatillo poblano salsa verde. And we're just gonna put right onto the top. Just let that dance along the steak. All right, everybody, and that is how you make this incredible chili espresso rubbed ribeye. If you wanna recreate this dish or any other incredible dishes, make sure you tag F and Sharp Knives on Instagram. Have some fun, we wanna see it, we want you to bring it, and hopefully you can bring a dish like this in your own kitchen.